Eight zombie viruses that would end civilization. From corporate bioweapons to cosmic radiation, these eight zombie viruses bring unique horrors that could wipe out humanity. Let's dive into how each works and why we be doomed. T-Virus, Resident Evil. The T-Virus is what happens when a megacorp like Umbrella plays mad scientist. This bio-weapon rewrites your DNA, targeting the nervous system to kill higher brain functions while keeping motor skills active. Smash that like button. It tells the algorithm you're into this kind of content. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss what's coming next. And drop a comment below with your craziest what-if ideas, leaving a ravenous, decaying corpse. Decades before Raccoon City's fall, Umbrella tweaked the progenitor virus, a rare pathogen from West Africa, through genetic tampering and human experiments. The result? A virus that hits the frontal cortex first, erasing personality, memory, and reason, then spreads, reanimating dead tissue in perpetual rot. It's a genetic chaos agent, mutating anything, dogs into Cerberus hounds with exposed muscle, humans into hulking tyrants or writhing liquors, even plants into man-eating Venus flytraps. It spreads via airborne particles, tainted water, injections, or high-dose skin contact. A single drop can kill in minutes. In Raccoon City, a lab leak contaminated the water supply, infecting 100,000 people in days. The Hive's Red Queen AI sealed the facility, killing everyone inside, but the virus hit the surface. Hospitals overflowed with bite victims who turned, and the military's nuke couldn't stop global spread via survivors and corporate cover-ups. Solanum World War Z Max Brooks Solanum is terrifyingly realistic. It obliterates higher brain functions, leaving the brainstem to drive a fearless, tireless corpse with one goal, feed. Named after nightshade's neurotoxins, it surgically shuts down the cerebral cortex, erasing consciousness and personality, then the limbic system, killing emotions except primal hunger. Basic motor skills and an urge to eat flesh remain. Spread by bites, incubation varies. Head bites turn you in minutes, leg bites give hours. Victims stay conscious as their body chills and humanity fades. Called Zack by survivors, these zombies don't tire, feel pain, or need air, surviving underwater or extreme climates. They track humans via sound, smell, or heat from miles away, pursuing for days. The Great Panic began with dismissed riots from a patient zero in rural China. Militaries failed, bullets didn't phase enemies that don't fear death. Only winter's freezing slowed them, giving survivors time to adapt. Aim for the head, never fight on their terms. Rage Virus, 28 days later. The Rage Virus creates living nightmares. Not dead, but humans consumed by psychotic fury. It hijacks the brain's limbic system, flooding it with adrenaline and cortisol, erasing rational thought. Developed at Cambridge to curb aggression, it backfired binding to dopamine and serotonin receptors to amplify rage beyond comprehension. Spread by blood-to-blood -blood contact, it turns victims in 10 to 60 seconds. Infected vomit blood as organs fail from adrenaline overload, bleeding from eyes and mouth, becoming walking biohazards. They sprint, climb, and wield basic tools, ignoring pain despite severe injuries. They burn out in 28 days from dehydration or exhaustion. Animal activists unleashed it by freeing infected chimps, and within 28 days, the UK was gone. Military quarantines failed against its speed, jets couldn't bomb fast enough. London burned as infected overran cities, dying out only after starving. Wildfire Virus, The Walking Dead The wildfire virus rewrites zombie rules. It's already in everyone, dormant until death. No cure, no immunity, no escape. Any death, heart attack, accident, old age, triggers reanimation in minutes or hours, depending on the cause. Likely born from chemical warfare or environmental damage, it's woven into human DNA. It activates the brainstem, driving instinct while the brain dies, creating walkers. Bites don't spread the virus. They kill via infection or blood loss, 
triggering reanimation. Every casualty becomes a threat, making rescues impossible. Civilization collapsed as hospitals turned into death traps, nursing homes into walker hives. Militaries couldn't fight a virus already everywhere. Survivors faced a world where death itself was the enemy, requiring brain destruction to stop reanimation. Blacklight Virus Prototype The blacklight virus devours victims, turning them into a collective biomass with shared intelligence and perfect human mimicry. A U.S. Army Gentech project aimed for a bioweapon to infiltrate enemies. A 1969 breach in Hope, Idaho, killed the town, halting the project. Decades later, Dr. Alexander Mercer revived it. Infected are absorbed into a hive mind, their memories fueling perfect disguises, appearance, speech, mannerisms. The biomass forms massive hunters, web-spinning hydras, or skyscraper-leveling supremes, reshaping organic matter into armor or weapons. Mercer, patient zero, released it in Penn Station during rush hour after Gentech targeted him. Manhattan became a writhing mass in hours. Quarantines failed as the virus evolved, growing smarter and stronger with each absorbed victim, creating unstoppable living weapons. Flare Virus, the Maze Runner. The Flare Virus is a slow-burning apocalypse. Solar flares bombarded Earth, mutating a virus into a mind killer that erodes empathy and reason over months or years. The flares scorched the planet, creating the Scorch, a 120 degrees Fahrenheit wasteland. The virus progresses predictably. Mood swings, paranoia, violent outbursts, then full cranks, savage, zombie-like cannibals. It's airborne, infecting nearly everyone. Only rare munis are immune, their blood holding potential cures. Safe cities, domed to filter air, became humanity's last holdouts, but required brutal experiments by groups like WCKD. The Scorch teamed with cranks, driven mad by heat, radiation, and infection, splitting the world into protected elites and a wasteland of madness. Infected strain, wreck slash quarantine. The wreck virus is a claustrophobic horror, turning a Barcelona apartment building into a tomb. This rabies-like pathogen, spread by bites, transforms victims into hyper-aggressive predators in minutes. Retaining human physicality, they run, climb, and use tools driven by adrenaline and brain inflammation. Hypersalivation, photophobia, and enhanced strength make them deadly in tight spaces. Hints of supernatural origins, tied to demonic possession, suggest intelligence beyond a mere virus. It began with an infected girl locked in an apartment. Firefighters broke in, and the virus spread via ventilation and contact. The military sealed the building, trapping healthy and infected alike. Every floor became a hunting ground, with no escape. Heron virus, dying light. The Heron virus shifts with the sun. By day, infected are slow, manageable biters. At night, they become volatiles, fast, smart, nearly unkillable. Developed by the GRE as a cancer cure, it reanimates dead tissue instead. Spread by bites, it progressively attacks the nervous system. Daylight keeps infected docile. Darkness triggers enhanced speed and strength. Antizen slows progression but doesn't cure, causing nausea, tremors, and addiction. Survivors need regular doses via airdrops, sparking violent clashes. Parents' quarantine turned the city into a lab with the military studying the virus while survivors scavenged by day and hid from volatiles at night. The GRE's containment was a cover for experimentation. Which virus would you least want to face? Drop in the comments and hit subscribe.